In this lesson, you are going to learn about circular motion. Okay, you are going to look at the motion of of a particle about a fixed point. Okay, so when you look at this figure here, I have a car. Okay, what I have here is a car. Okay, and this car is moving in a circular path. Okay, about a center point O. Okay, so that's what this figure here shows. And then from the figure here, you see that what I have indicated the forces acting on this car here. Okay, I have indicated the forces acting on this car here. The normal force due to the reaction of the road and then the weight force, okay, due to the mass of the car. Then we have frictional force here, okay, which is due to the contact surfaces that are in contact, okay, which is the road and then the ties. So this is what the figure here shows, okay. The R here too is also what the radius, okay. So that's all that this figure here is showing. So you are going to look at how you are going to derive a formula for the for the maximum velocity that this car must must move, okay, to prevent it from skating along this circular path. Okay, so that's what you are going to look at in this lesson. So let's look at how you are going to do this. So we are considering these forces acting on this this car here okay you are considering the forces acting on this car here and then this car is moving in a circular path okay but you see that there is no string or any rope attached to the car but it is moving in a circular path okay so the force that is causing the car to maintain its its direction or its 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 motion in the circular path that force is the centripetal force okay so this centripetal force in this case will be caused by the friction of the reaction between the car tie and then the road so the centripetal force in this case will be due to what friction between the car ties and then the road so that's the force that will keep the car to move in the circular path okay so when this force is overcome then the car is going to skate off the road so what you want to do is that you want to find the maximum velocity or the maximum speed that this car must move in order to prevent it from what be from what skating from the path okay so let's look at this so what we do is that you are going to consider the forces that are acting on the car vertically okay so in this case the forces acting on the car vertically are the normal force and then the weight okay so summing them up okay that will be the normal plus the weight but the weight is pointing down so that both minus the weight force okay and then that should be called what mass times what acceleration of the of the car in the y direction okay but looking at this car it is not moving vertical it is moving horizontally so there will be no acceleration in the y direction so that what zero so in this case you are going to have the normal to be called what the weight and that will be called what mass times what acceleration due to gravity okay so this will be the first equation so we are going to have the normal to be equal to what mass times acceleration due to what gravity so let's take this to be equation one so now let's consider the forces acting on on the car in the horizontal direction or on the x axis direction okay so let's look at this so with these forces we have frictional force there okay and then looking at it that's the only force that is acting on this car here horizontally so we are going to have the net force okay which is the frictional force to be equal to the mass times what the centripetal acceleration of the car okay because the the actual force acting on the car causing it to be in a circular path is a centripetal force so we are going to use what centripetal acceleration okay so this frictional force here okay frictional force here the same as what mu times what the normal force okay is the same as what mu times what the normal force so what you have to do here is to substitute okay what you have to do here is what is to substitute so in that case you are going to have mu n because what mass times what centripetal acceleration and centripetal acceleration 
is going to be v squared over what r which is what this radius that we have here so all you have to do is to substitute here so you are going to have mu n to be called what mass times what centripetal acceleration which is given as what v squared over r okay but from here from equation one okay from equation one we know that what n equals what mass times what acceleration due to gravity so you are going to have mu times what mass times acceleration due to what gravity and this will be called what mv squared over what r so at this point you see that you can cancel out the mass okay so this will cancel out this so we are going to have what mu times acceleration due to gravity equals what v squared over r okay so this is it so now you want to find what the maximum velocity that this car must move in order to prevent it from what scaling so in that case you are going to make what v here the subject so i'm going to multiply i'm going to do cross multiplication here okay so i'll perform cross multiplication here so that will give me radius times mu g equals what v squared so i'm going to make v the subject okay so that's what happened here so now i want to find v so we are going to take square root of both sides so that gives us v to be equal to what the square root of mu times radius times what acceleration due to what gravity so this will be the maximum speed that the car must move in order to prevent it from scaling okay so when the car moves at a speed higher than this speed then the car is going to skid off the road and then when it moves less than it also it can also scale off so this is the actual maximum speed that the car must move so this is the velocity that you were finding so let's see in a situation whereby the radius of the the radius of the curve is given to be 120 okay let's say r is given to what 120 okay 120 meters so that'll be the radius of what this this curved road here okay so in that case all you have to do is to come and substitute into the formula that we got so we are going to have the maximum velocity to be equal to the square root of what the mu okay so i didn't give mu also so let's take mu to be 0 0.4 okay so in that case we are going to have 0 0.4 times the radius okay which is what 120 times what acceleration due to gravity which is what 9.81 okay so let's simplify this and see what we get for v so i'm going to punch everything in the calculator so that is 0 0.4 times 120 times 9.81 okay so that give me the maximum velocity to be equal to 21.699 so let's make that 21.7 meters per second so this will be the maximum velocity that the car must move in order for it to, for it not to skip up the road so that's all for this lesson thank you very much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe